morning briefing show, this awesome and absolutely incredible every daily show. And uh, yeah, today is Thursday. It's uh, August the 5th and I'm happy. And um, I appreciate it a lot that you spend your lifetime with me every morning. And I will do my best to share my knowledge with you to make sure that you can become successful on a, a long run, by the way. So my name is Marcus Gabel for you, that people that are first time here in this morning briefing show. And this uh, by Aprils, by the way, best broker ever. And Anna, good morning, my moderator in the back, which opens this webinar this morning. So we stream this on YouTube as well. If you show it, if you watch it on YouTube right now, maybe later recording, you will find a button. You can subscribe with the right button, the right a button in the right corner. You will find there and you can subscribe it. And if you want, you can give us a like. You can leave your comment and more. And especially now it's your time uh, in um, Zoom and in YouTube, you can leave your comment and we can talk about almost everything as long as we have time for it. So now let me share my screen and fix the technical stuff that I can see the chat. Is it and of course here your names great so I'm really happy that you are here with me in this show Marie Louise wonderful good morning so and feel free to type in the chat box whatever you have in your mind Claudia wonderful good morning too so what do we expect on this Thursday uh, the most important point one appointment today is the Bank of England meeting. And uh, yes, UK interest rate decision, the forecast is 0.1. So it seems they will leave the rates there where it is right now. But we know there will come up uh, the following press conference and maybe there are surprisingly new uh, information in that way. So let's be careful with the British pound uh, today. So then in the afternoon, we expect a little bit US data, um, gas storage, weekly export, trading goods, something like that. So be careful with day trading in Dow Jones, S&P, NASDAQ, so in that uh, way. Okay, let's switch to our charts. And first of all, we have our DAX trade. So yesterday we made a really lovely trade, two trades. So the first trend, and this shows again the probability and, you know, the law of probability. I love it because it protects your trading if you trust and if you follow the law of probability, which means you cannot miss a signal because you don't know the result of the uh, trade before you start it. So therefore, yesterday... We had this situation in DAX and you know we trade DAX in 10 minutes in our live trading room on Twitch um, and very soon we will switch to another platform where we can trade uh, more personally and where we can trade more uh, focused on that what we want to do because Twitch is more a streaming platform for gamers. So uh, here we go. Yesterday we had this trend, then we had the correction balance candle, bit of balance candle, and then we decided to go in to reach the probability, the hit quote, which means 0.2. We hit it, then we trailed the stop into profit, and we were fine. So we made a profit level, a profitable trade. Then the price went down in the correction again without a previous trend continuation. So it was still the first possible trend arm we can jump in. So we had next balance candles. We did it again. We reached point two again. And since then, the trade is still running. So pro, uh, uh, the stop loss is in profit. And for the moment, we have nothing to do because you don't know what happens. The price can turn and can go up again, or the price will get the rest position out. And then it's the third trend arm. And then we have to do it again. Unless there is a downtrend in that way, then we have to 
read the chart differently, but for the moment, the trend or the trade is still running. In gold, oil, Dow, and Euro, we trade, maybe we make day trading as well, but in hourly chart. And yesterday it was really interesting. So that's my, that was yesterday my trend. Oh, it's still the trend, by the way. So that's the trend yesterday with uh, this one. Yes, move, correction, this move, so, and this one. That was the, that was the situation. So there was a big balance candle. So we jumped in and target as always is basically 0 0.2. But unfortunately, then we, the price jumped up really, really strong, but we didn't reach the 0 0.2. So, and I saw that, and I decided not to set a pending order there. So I want to I want to wait if I see a trend candle over the point two or balance candle. Yes. Yeah, so, but when as when I saw this, I decided to trail the stop loss into profit because I didn't know what happened next. So therefore, I made the trade safe. And that was fortune. I would say that I was really lucky. I'm a lucky guy yesterday because afterwards the price fell down really strongly, really sharply. So I got out with a small profit, but without a loss. And this is the most important thing in, in trading, especially you are in a very, very deep drawdown phase. You make your own mistakes. And so you have to make your trades a little bit more uh, faster, safe. Um, as a normal way. So now uh, we have no different situation because there is no trend continuation at the point two. Price went back. Uh, that's my last correction zone between the point two and the point three. So the trend will break below this rectangle. So I'm still in the uh, in the correction zone. And you see we are circling around the point of control. So therefore you see I set my pending order again, in case the price will continue, because only two things can happen. First thing, we see a trend break on the lower side with a close below the green rectangle, or the price must go up. Just only these two things can happen. That's a guarantee in the market, because we are trend traders and there are always trends, as you can see. So I set my pending order in case they want to have more volume on the wall on the buyer side, then the price must go up. So uh, the next one we traded in hourly chart, it was the oil chart. So and here I want to ask you something. As you see, we made a very lovely trade yesterday. So we I we prepared it in a morning briefing show, as you know. So that was the situation. Here we jumped in. That was the correction first target as you see i decided to sell half the position after i could see okay there is a kind of stabilization so new trend continuation correction so and then that was the situation now we have this so and here i decided to go out with the rest of the position so now my question is in this look back by the way what would you do make better than me? Because, you know, I'm in a drawdown phase and I, at that moment I decided to get all my money from the desk. So what would you say? What would the better situation or what can we make better the next time? What do you think? It was a winner, by the way, so I don't want to complain about that. So, but if you look now at this point, so we could make more money. So what would you should suggest? So maybe imagine, uh, imagine you have a student and you saw this trade by your student. What kind of um, recommendation or what kind of advice would you uh, do? You would uh, would you give your to your student? Jesus Christ. So what do you think? Because one, we sold already half the position. So it's, it's about depending on the rest position.
trail the stop to the last point three and let it run because you already have a winner yes move so step by step trail stop loss so first mistake all your suggestions are very fine very very fine trail stop stayed in let the winners run absolutely so would you say the same if you could say the price went up <laughs> that's the interesting part because now we look back and we see the price is falling down so would you say would you say exactly the same when you could say okay the price now let's imagine uh, the price went up would you say the same or would you say in that way okay that was cool you see it's different it's that's the hard part in trading in a look back we always more smart than on the right side of the chart so but you are of course right so you can let it run but this this is the point if you are really under pressure because you are 60 percent 65 percent in loss with your account and you are being you have to you feel this big pressure on your shoulders and then you don't want to lose that much money so therefore you make these decisions but the first mistake was not to wait until the candle is over because when i was the right side i saw okay there is a bit that occurs or there was developing in that moment uh, a kind of balance candle so in my opinion, I said, okay, that's a good idea. Balance candle means next part is maybe more going up. So, but it was in the middle of the hour, it was not the top of the hour. That was my mistake. So um, first one, whatever you do, or if you trail or if you go out or whatever, learn this from my mistakes here. By the way, it was a winner. I don't complain, but it's indeed, it's a mistake. Learn this, wait to the top of the hour, wait until the candle is over and then make a decision. Cause after I could see this, I wouldn't go out. So maybe you trail the stop bar by bar, maybe. Yeah, this is a good idea. So the better thing is really, first of all, wait, wait wait until the candle is over so that's is the better um behavior in your trading because now you feel it if you go out and you have okay it was a winner yes i'm happy but to be honest really to be honest if you feel it here what do you feel in my opinion and this is what i'm feeling right now as a real trader I feel this is a loss. You are happy about the winner. But basically, if you're really honest to yourself, you look at the chart, especially if the price is going down and down and down and down. It's so annoying. It's really so annoying that it's a like, Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh. So, and it's, it's, it's a kind of felt loss. You know, you feel it and you say, ah, oh, Jesus Christ. So let's learn this from, from each other. Or maybe you can learn from my mistake. Um, wait, the candle is over and then make a decision and maybe trail the stop closer and let the market decide. So as I often try to teach you, you see, but I'm a human person like you and I make my own mistakes because believe me, yesterday, I called my own mentor and I told him my whole situation, deep drawdown phase, and I showed him this uh, this size. And he was really, uh, how should I say, he was really angry with me, a little bit angry with me. And uh, he said, you must be more focused, be more calm, more calm. Because that was, be that was a beginner mistake. So, and he said, open your diary and make really really big notes for yourself and um but this is a special situation if you're really under pressure because your account is deep in loss then you make sometimes and you see i'm just the same trader like you 
my only, uh, I guess my only advantage I have in comparison to you is that I have more experience in trading. But as long as you are a human trader, sometimes you make this simple mistakes. And it is the psychology in trading is really the hardest part. So therefore, I make my meditation every morning 20 minutes. And this helps me, really helps me. But sometimes that's the human part. Sometimes you make this. But let's learn from each other. And uh, next time we will make it better. So um, then we have Euro USD. In Euro USD, now we have a trend. This is what we have to consider. Now we have a trend with move, correction, and now there was the deepest point here right now. So we are waiting for the correction, and then let's go short based on our rules. Uh, but this will take time, I guess. And then Dow Jones in hourly chart. Yeah, that's tricky. In hourly chart, you know, we have this long lasting uptrend. But since uh, two days, since two days, we have this downtrend move, correction, move, and this correction. So, and there was a balance candle here. There was a balance candle. And you see, again, that's the point two. And you know, that's the probability of 86% 80, that we can reach the point two again. And you see, it happens one, two, three, and the next time. But actually, there's no trend continuation, which means now we have to wait until this happens, next correction, and then, can, then we can do it again. Great. So that was the uh, hourly part. Now let's go to the four hourly chart. And you know, we expect the rate decision of Britain today. So it means stay on the sideline until this is over. It will come uh, up this what, what, uh, time. Uh, 1 p.m. today, 1 p.m today and before we start to the four hourly charts Anna if you are ready for rumble we can open my question for today because we have a special education topic today my question for you is do you use trend lines in your trading in your trading do you use trend lines in your trading yes or no just only two options yes or no do you use trend lines um, what is a trend line? So basically, this is a trend line, but I want to go deeper. This is a trend line. So do you use this kind of trend lines? Yes or no? So let's talk about uh, four hourly charts. And here I have different suggestions for you. So here we go in uh, Great Britain to US dollar, the classical cable. So what do we have here right now? So first of all, that's a trend move. Correction, move, correction, move, correction, move, and here in the correction. So you see one, two, three, fourth trend arm. We are circling around the, the point of control as long as you cannot see a balance candle. And here we should wait until the um, red decision is over, the announcement is over, and the press conference is over. And then we can have it, uh, can have a look at this trade again, but you should keep it in your focus. Next one is British pound Japanese yen. And here we go. There's uh, there's no trend break. And so we make a profitable trade, two trades. You see, we have two wonderful trades, always the same, 0.2, trade the stop into profit, fine. And here again, entry based on the rules, 0.2 reached, trail the stop into profit, that's fine. So now what's on the right side right now? It's uh, a bit of uptrend right now because you have this one, movement correction, 
smooth correction. And now we are in the third trend arm. There is no trend break here. So there is a bit of balance candle, but you need to wait until the press or the rate decision is over. And of course, as always, point two is our probability, the hitch quote, that's the target. But I wouldn't open this trade right now. It makes no sense because the rate decision is really close today. British pound, New Zealand dollar, also just wait. But here we go. The trend is still valid. And this is the interesting part. So you have this move, correction. Um, there was not really a trend continuation there. So still in the correction. And this is the trend right now. Deep in the correction. One, two, it's the third one. Target is always the point two. And even you can see there's a corrective downtrend, secondary downtrend, this one is yeah you can do this too and now here we go so we are exactly at the point of control right now and i would suggest always in direction of the main trend and the green one is the main trend so there was a balance candle there was a balance now we have a, a row of balance candle right now so just wait at least if there is no changing we can speculate that we can enter here and speculate to the point two on the upper side, just on the watch list two. Okay, so then I have uh, New Zealand dollar Swiss franc. <clears throat> this is interesting because we should keep it in mind here. There's a point of trend move. Correction, it looks like really terrible, but technically correct because no close there so and this and here's the correction and there was a balance candle um bit different so let's see if you can see the um fibonacci yeah and you see we didn't have a close or a price at least in a close to the 38%. And yeah, this is within the red zone. I used to work really carefully and more closer to the rules when I'm in the green zone. In the red zone, I'm really, I work really closely to my own rules. So therefore, keep it in mind, keep it on your watch list in case the price will go deeper and maybe see a stabilization at the point of control and a balance candle then, then we can try it again. And British pound Canadian dollar. Uh, we have another chance. So you see, we made a great trade here, entered here, first target, second target. And uh, yeah, we saw the trend break, but now you can, uh, we must realize that here is a new trend with move, correction, move, correction so unfortunately i missed the entry here and you see there's another proof again guys 86 percent probability from the correction zone to the last point two that's really awesome we must use this more so more carefully we see actually there's no trend continuation therefore we can speculate for the next after, by the way, after the right decision, we see balance candles, then we can try it again. Yeah, so keep it on your watch list. So do you use trend lines in your trading? By the way, if you have, want to have more information about that, then jump to the homepage or jump to the uh, YouTube video and you see below every video we make for you on YouTube, you will find all that links trend lines, subscribe for more episodes, by the way, read more, for example, about the Donchian channel here is really interesting. And here, all these links you can use uh, to find more information about economic calendar, technical analysis, and more. And this will lead you to the homepage of Admirals, by the way. So if you think, by the way, you are a really cool trader, and you think you want to share your trading ideas, 
you can do that because uh, here on admiralmarks.com with copy trading, you can share your trades there. So achieve more with copy trading is really interesting and you can do it here. So visit this homepage after the show and you will have more information about that. So what's about the running trades? Do we have something to do there in Canadian dollar Swiss franc? To be honest, actually nothing. We are still, we didn't reach the point two because there is my alert and the trend is still running. And um, yeah, the, the, I have an alert there at the entry. My stop loss is still at the last point three. In this case, I have my alerts there. I have nothing to do. Canadian dollar, Japanese yen, still a trend and still on the way down to the point of control is really far away for the moment. And as I said, we are struggling with the point of high, so nothing to do. Euro Australian dollar, still a stabilization point. Trend is okay, fine. In the red zone, everything can happen. We sold half the position, stop losses in profit. Here we have nothing to do. Euro British pounds. Yeah, we opened the position here, but unfortunately we didn't reach the point two. There's an alert there. There are a bit of balance candles. To be honest, um, maybe I should have a stop loss. To be honest, based on the um, rate decision, I uh, don't want to have any kind of risk. So therefore, I trail my stop loss into profit and accept it because I don't want to lose money and I always can go in. So this is what I'm doing with my trade. US dollar, Canadian dollar. You know, we trailed a stop closer. Actually, we are still in. Why is it? Because we have two different trades. So the first one, you know, First one is going up. This is the trend. It's just going up. So this is the trend, by the way. And I have another trend. This is my downtrend. Movement, correction, movement, correction. And I'm here with my own rules of this corrective trend. So if I consider that the long trend is still very, very old and we reached a point of control already, the red one is my primary trend at the moment. So if I will get out with a stop loss, then I uh, will stick to my rules to trade in the short direction, to change the position from long to short. So you should have uh, a really, should um, keep it in your mind. And US dollar Japanese yen, I guess we are out, good idea. You see, we failed again at the point of high. We stuck the rules and now that's the third trade. So you see, we have three trades right now and all of them are winners. First one, second one, just a zero game. And now the third one. Selling how the position at point two is a good, is a wise decision. Trading stop into profit is the next wise decision. You see, price is going up right now. So, but we cannot... And we may not forget this trading idea because trend is still valid. One, two, three, trend continuation there. Ah, uh, not really. So the next one is still one, two, three, four, fourth trend arm. Okay. So therefore, next situation, let's do it again. New Zealand US dollar, please. Of course, New Zealand US dollar. So point of control is above. Trend is okay too. Mm. Yeah, here. Yeah. Movement, oh. 
not here. Let's make it this one. Movement, correction, movement, correction. So we are on the correction, of course. Um, a trend is valid, by the way. Now let's see about Fibonacci. Yes, it's the first trend arm, by the way. It's the first trend arm. We reached 38%. If this candle is over, let's do it. Well done, Alexander. Well done. So um, maybe you say, okay, we don't have a close below 38. You are right. And we are in the red zone. You're right too. In the first trend arm, we have a high, high probability that we reach point two. And if you reach point two, we are safe. And let's we can use that. Okay. So keep in your watch list, New Zealand dollar, US dollar at 11 o'clock. So um, what's about trend lines? So I ask you, do you use trend lines in your trading? 55% says yes, and 45% says no. So what's the sense of a trend line? Let me show you. A trend line, by the way, uh, to, identify, to identify a trend line, you need more than one higher high or a lower low in a short trend. So if you have at least two higher highs, which means one move and one correction, which is one trend on, by the way, you can connect these two high points to each other. And the same goes for the lower low, of course. So the more high points you can connect, the stronger the trend. As you can see here in the picture, here in this picture, so you have a start, a first one. Here we go. A first one. Now you have, you can connect this first two points and you have a third one. And if you extend such a trend line, yes, you can see, okay, there's a stabilization and this could be a good entry too. If you have a trend I, yeah, you don't need trend lines. If you had a, have a trend I, then you see, okay, movement, correction, movement, correction, movement, and in the correction zone, and you can go to. So a trend line is a kind of conf uh, confirmation of a trend, maybe. To be honest, to trade with trend lines and to speculate that the trend um, will, or that the price will turn at the trend line, it's a good idea. But wait, if you work with trend lines, I always would wait until you see their balance candles. Or if you work with normal candles, then wait if there's a reversal bar or a bullish engulfing, or if you short bearish, of course, or harami or whatever it is. Or the best you work with a trend with Heiken Ashi, and then you can wait if they're at such a trend line, which is such a confirmation for a trend with movement and corrections. Yeah, it's a it's a helpful tool, more no, more no, more not more nor less. Uh, and you know, in the order book, you don't see a trend line. But then I would wait until you see a balance candle there, and then you can uh, work on your own rules. If you own, if you work only with trend lines, be careful with it because you have to make a back test if this is really working for you. Only if you can confirm it with numbers, mathematic numbers, and you know they are working fine. You have a profitable expectation value, then you can do it. Yeah, but just only, oh, there's a trend line. I have to go long or short. Be careful with that. Yeah, just a kind of confirmation. Yeah, so, and the same is on the lower side. You can see here, great. You have a kind of trend channel with different trend lines on the lower side. You see one, two, and three. On the upper side, one, two, three, and sometimes and at it, any time you have a trend break. But you can see the price turns on the lower and the upper side at such a trend line. But with a trend I, I we train in the morning briefing show, you see it's just a correction. Just a correction, okay? There is by coincidence, there is a trend line. But the price doesn't turn there about the trend line. 
It's just the price is cheap or expensive in that. And you have more sellers or more buyers there on the volume side. That's the point. But trend lines, it's a bit of interesting, how should I say, a helpful tool to see uh, if the trend is really valid or if the trend, but we work with prices. The moment, Claudia, you're completely right. For me, the price is important. You know, in the order book, you cannot see trend lines. Yeah, it's just only price and volume. So if the price is cheap, buy it. If it's expensive, sell it, or in a different opposite direction. So this is just a quick look at uh, the topic of trend lines. And um, there was a question. Yes. Okay. So it's completely fine if you work with trend lines. Um, check, use it as a helpful tool, but not the ultimate tool. It's just a helpful tool to confirm a possible trend, and this could be really, this could be really interesting in that point. Guys, I want to say thank you again for your attention. Um, again, subscribe the channel, go to YouTube right now or after the show, watch it again. If you learn something, make your notes. If you want, there is a button, you can subscribe it. You have a lot of descriptions below that video. Give us a like if you want, leave your comment. If you have something to ask, then do it. And yes, there is nothing more to say. I wish you a wonderful day and have courage and be kind and may the force of the rules be with you. 